Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another house building video. This is the first one I've done since I've been back from my trip and I thought I would ease myself into uh, into building houses again so I thought I'd start a fairly small uh, and just play around with some of the new things that were added. For example, half walls. As the name of the build may suggest, uh, I, I thought I wouldn't beat around the bush. Uh, I decided to just call it half walls because that's what I used uh, in most of the house. Um, it's no, it's really nice to have all the, the sort of half walls in the game now, especially the the tons of different heights. It sort of, it, in a way, it makes up for because uh, you can see what I'm doing with the roof here. It makes up for uh, the lack of constrained floor elevation when it comes to detailing the roof and that. Because in previous Sims games like Sims Three and Two, I would use uh, the constrained floor elevation sheet and do roof detailing with that, so I, I kind of do all that kind of stuff, but um, the half walls sort of help aid in that department anyway. Uh, and I thought I'd try something interesting here. So I've done some half walls, but of course, because this isn't constrained floor elevation, there's no, uh, there's no flooring on it. So I thought, hey, let me just get some tables and fill in that section. And it actually worked. Look at it. It actually looks like it's it's working quite well. They, uh, they're, they're all intersecting just white tables, but you can't really, like you don't see any glitching out because it's so, they're so white and it works quite well. So top tip, use tables if you want to create a ceiling with uh, half walls. However, I would suggest placing them when you're done with the build because you'll notice um, that they actually disappear while I'm building. And uh, they sort of, they disappear a little, it's kind of annoying. I put them back at the very end. Uh, but yeah, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do the table trick, uh, make sure you do that at the end of the build because that will be a lot easier. Now the front balcony, I went with a curve because I was like, hey, I want a curve in this build. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, I thought. Uh, but the curve really turned out to be a little bit more uh, complex than I thought. Mainly because it, I couldn't really get it to fit in as well as I wanted it to. I, I w it just wasn't able to do what I envisaged. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I kept it in the end. Uh, so keeping with the theme of half walls, I thought I would do like a little half wall balcony. Not balcony. Uh, half wall shade at the back of the house you saw there. Um, just nice little details. Just, I was making sure to use all those half walls as much as possible on the roofs to uh, make it look quite nice. And sorry if you're hearing all these noises, I'm just trying to adjust myself in my seat to get comfy. Settle in and get comfy. Uh, yeah, so using some of those new doors there at the front, I actually changed those doors to... Uh, I use a lot of Spa Day content because I love... I, I barely even scratched the surface of Spa Day, but a lot of the patterns and textures uh, of the flooring and walls in Spa Day. Oh my god, they're so good. And there's a lot of items as well that I was using from it. I really like the uh, the style of Spa Day, at least so far. Um, but I guess when I get into building a bigger house and have a look at everything, then uh, that'll, that'll definitely be interesting. But no, I'm loving it. Loving it so much. I was having a look at the new uh, toilet uh, bathroom doors and all that kind of stuff. So that was pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so this is just a, a little sort of modern house. Um, similar, in a similar style to what I would build in Sims 3. Uh, obviously not in Sims 4, because it's just not able to build this kind of thing in the Sims 4 up until this point. Uh, yeah, so, um, doing a little bit of throwback. Actually, I used to build this style a lot in Sims 2 as well. That's sort of where I first started doing this kind of house. Like with the, uh, the sort of roof, uh, lines and... I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, anyway, this, this kind of style of house I started doing in Sims 2. So it's, uh... It's quite, a, it's not even modern at this point, it's a, it's a classic, you know, it's a vintage style house, it's a traditional home for me, uh, <laughs> in my world, somehow. But yeah, no, anyway, so I, I thought I'd do a little bit of a throwback to this kind of house, and have a bit of fun with it. Um, I thought I'd also mention that uh, the other day, so I, I know I've mentioned this in videos before, but I've been doing YouTube videos since 2000 and. Eight, even maybe before that, I think 2007 I posted a few and uh, my very first YouTube channel um, I had I wasn't able to log into it because I forgot what the, the sort of login details were for it turns out that um, it was just an email address because that, that was back in the day when YouTube you had to log in with your username and password and of course I didn't know what the password was um, but now YouTube is a Google account because obviously that was before Google integrated the whole email and, and Google account to YouTube. Anyways, long story short, uh, I could just recover the password with uh, my email because I, I still use that email every day. So I went ahead and did that, recovered the, the account, 
logged in and was upset that there were no videos on there. I had obviously deleted them all at some point. I wish I had just privated them or unlisted them or something. That would have been so much better. Um, but yeah, no, so that, that YouTube account was created in 2007, I believe it was like May 2007. Uh, so it's super old, and I actually, I revived it yesterday. If you were hanging out on Twitter, you would have seen me tweeting about it. Um, but basically, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's uh, Mr. TJ Rapper. He's pretty hectic. I'll just say that. So ba basically, I'm not going to be using that channel regularly at all. It's just, um, I, I decided to revive it because that was my first YouTube channel ever. And I put on some really old videos I made when I was way, way younger. Like videos I haven't posted before. Uh, just because they're ridiculous, so <laughs> go check those out. There's like some Sims 2 Machinimas on there. Um, I had like a really old house building video too. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Just go check it out. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not going to be a regular channel, so don't, don't feel compelled to subscribe or anything. I probably won't even post anything any anymore on it. That'll probably be about it. But um, just a little fun fact for you. So like some Sims 2 Machinimas and like a house build, I think, is on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, where are we now? Inside, doing the, the floor plan, trying to figure out where everything's going to fit in. Uh, and I wanted to, yeah, I wanted two bedrooms and I want, I did, I, I would have preferred to have two bathrooms, like an ensuite and, uh, just a regular bathroom, but obviously the house was not big enough. This is something that I've spoken about before. It's how I, I, cause I always build houses from the outside in. I always design the outside of the house and then I'm like, oh yeah. Floor plan. How's this going to work? I never design the floor plan first. Um, which I, I should definitely do that one day. I think that should be something I do. Maybe I could do that as like a like a let's build. Kind of like a let's build challenge. I have to design the house from the inside out. So I do all the rooms and the corridors. But I don't like think about the exterior at all. And then that's the very last thing I do. That'd be interesting. Um, I don't know. That's a fun idea. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. So the kitchen, I was trying to figure out a good way to do the kitchen here. Uh, I was going to, yeah, I was going to do that island counter that curved around to the wall, but I, I realized immediately that that was going to take up too much space and make the, feel, the, the area feel really, really cramped. So I'm using a bunch of the stuff from Cool Kitchen. Uh, taking some inspiration from the recent room build I did the other day, I've done sort of like a quote-unquote built-in fridge to that wall there. So it's like sort of flush with the wall. I don't know. I really like the look of that when it's sort of in the wall. I, I don't know, it just looks cool to me. Maybe that's just me, but I, I liked it. Uh, using the cool kitchen stuff here, and of course, I need to try and use some half walls a little bit more. Uh, I'm not using them yet, because I'm just sort of shuffling things around. But uh, when I do, you'll see. There you go. So I put the half wall in there, just as like a little backing to the uh, uh, the counters there. They're not island counters. Um, I would have used the island counters, but I don't like how the cool kitchen island counters actually have uh, doors on the outside. Uh, it's kind of weird, but um, anyways, so picking up some colors here going for some nice uh, spa day like dark gray stone uh, I really I really like the no, I really like the spa day stuff as well really good I gotta say the um, the couple of packs that came out uh, well my, my favorite packs so far like out of stuff packs game packs and expansions um, no, actually, no, let's not count expansion because there's only one and also it's awesome. But no, my favorite content packs, like, so game pack or stuff pack at the moment would definitely be, I really liked Perfect Patio and I still do. That's really good. So if you don't, if, if this is just shout out, if you're looking, if you're wondering which one to buy, because people always ask, I really like Perfect Patio. I mean, it, it also depends what you want in your game. Perfect Patio, very good content. And I really, really like Spa Day too. Some good stuff in there. Some solid stuff in Spa Day. Um, so yeah, currently I would uh, recommend those two. Anyways, moving on. Uh, <laughs> there's a little dining area. I, l I love those bright green chairs that came with the cool kitchen though. Uh, although obviously they have a lot of other colors, but green, the lime green is definitely my favorite. And that, um, that painting I put on the wall, uh, a bunch of you pointed out in the room build that um, that little picture had like dozens of recolors well not dozens probably dozen of recolors but uh yeah no so there's loads of different variations which i didn't know and there's some really really nice ones in there too so that was that's uh really cool so thank you for pointing that out uh so just going around picking some colors thought we'd do some um kind of cool tones in the bedrooms i don't, I don't mean cool as in like cool i mean cool as in yeah that's cool yeah, anyway, um, 
Yeah, and so I was going to do the bedrooms, put that bed in to start off with, then I realized after a little while that bed looks... That bed style does not suit the house at all. That's something they need. We need more bedroom-related stuff. because Well, beds specifically. There's not enough beds. And the ones we do have are not that great. And they don't have a lot of good colors. Um, so, can I request a stuff pack on, like, bedrooms or... A game pack relating to beds somehow? Like, I don't know, you could probably do a hotel game pack. Because, I mean, there wouldn't necessarily be a whole bunch of gameplay added with a hotel, but you could probably game pack it, right? I don't know. Anyways, but something to do with bedrooms. That's the moral of the story here. Need some more bedroom-related items, because there's not enough. There's, there's specifically beds. It's just really annoying. You go in there, there's like one or two quote-unquote modern... They're not even modern beds, they look ridiculous. The, the ones that are obviously supposed to design to be modern, they look ridiculous. There's no, like, realistic, just contemporary bed that, first of all, A, isn't uncomfortable, and B, looks atrocious. I don't know, there's no, like, normal beds. Um, and that really annoys me. <laughs> there needs to be more beds. Because obviously there's that really, there's that standard bed that actually looks like, the only bedding game that actually looks like a bed. But it's really crap, like, it's not the, uh, not very good energy or comfort. And also, I don't think the recolors are very good, if I recall. But, um, I don't know, that just annoys me. We need more bed stuff. Uh, yeah, so doing the little bathroom area now. One thing I did forget in this house, and I realized it just now. Uh, I guess I, I was just looking at me doing the bathroom. I didn't put any blinds or curtains in the bathroom. And there's three full height windows on that wall. So, yeah, no, there's going to be a little bit of a lack of privacy when you go to the toilet. But, um, you know... You're just gonna have to get used to it. Yeah, so that's that little painting that has like a billion recolors and I love it. It's so good. I just cycle through them all. And that that bed there, like that one annoys me too. Like that's, I guess, quote unquote, a modern slash contemporary style bed, but the recolors are terrible. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, I love the new circle mirror in Spa Day as well. That's really cool. Having a bit of fun. I've used that quite a few times around this place. Uh, get a little dresser in here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Um, I've run out of things to say. Another mirror. Uh, I was gonna do, uh, like a little desk and, and computer in there, but the way the room was laid out with the, the windows and that, it didn't really fit in particularly well. Uh, a little side table by the door, probably rendering that left-hand door, like, useless. You probably can't go through it, but it doesn't matter. There's two doors, so just use the other door. I uh, just, yeah, I thought I'd do a little side table there and, um, and uh, a little bit of decoration. I did remember to put a bin in the kitchen. So you just saw me do that. I was like, oh yeah. And I of course moved the post box and put a bin in. So that's also uh, good news on that front. Uh, around the side, that is the balcony coming from the master bedroom. So I thought I'd give them a couple of chairs and a little table to put their drinks on. So they go out there and, and laugh it up. <laughs> that's how the, uh, the, the, I don't know, parents laugh, apparently. I don't know. Uh, living area here just went with a single three-seater. Uh, I was really trying to get a pop of color in the living space. That's also something we could use more of is, well, first of all, rugs. Definitely more rugs. Um, and more sofa stuff. Living room stuff back would be good. I mean, we've done a kitchen now. We've done the perfect patio stuff. Um, luxury party stuff pack. That's probably the worst pack so far out of anything. Would not recommend getting that one. Uh, I don't think I use the stuff from that, like, at all. Maybe I do, I don't know. But, um, no, that was pretty useless. But, <laughs> that was pretty useless. Perfect patio and, and cool kitchen were good. We need living room, we need bedroom. Uh, bathrooms are pretty good now. I think there's quite a lot of stuff for that. I don't think bathrooms really need anything so desperately. But, uh, what about... You could do... I don't know. Just need more content, really. <laughs> And it's on its way. But yeah, that's cool. There's that little painting again, cycling through all the different variations. Uh, yeah, no, I really needed some color in the living space because it was pretty much all gray. You had the gray wall. Then you had like the white uh, sofa and coffee tables. I was like, this, I was just like, there's no color. There's no color. So I put down a potted plant and then I put some of those things on the wall there just to green it up a little bit. And I don't know, little square lights look kind of cool. It just added a little bit of detail. Uh, moving on outside now to do a little bit of landscaping, just adding some trees and, and shrubs and doing a little bit of terrain painting as well. Uh, well, I haven't done it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Doing a few a few more seats out there on the perfect patio. Uh, little coffee table as well. That's something we could probably use more of just outdoor activities in general. Um, it's not because there's not that much stuff to do. 
outside. There's still not that much stuff to put in your garden. Anyways, here is here. Here we are in the screenshots now. Uh, of course, the download link is in the description below. You can click on that and go to the gallery to find it, or you can search for my origin ID, which is the Sim Supply, same as my name here on YouTube, uh, or you can search for the hashtag the Sim Supply, and it will come up. Or I don't know. There's probably other ways to find it too. Uh, but yeah. So just going around the outside of the house now, get a few close-ups of the little uh, outdoor patio areas. And moving on to the, here's the entrance of the house. You can see right through to the back. Um, we get a full frontal of the kitchen right there. I, I do, I really like the, the kitchen in this place. It actually, it fit in really nicely into that area. It actually divided up the, like the dining and the living area quite nicely too. Uh, so just a few angles here of the kitchen and then we'll move over to the dining area. There it is. There! Beautiful little chairs. I really love the colors in that space. Uh, looking down the length of the house. Uh, beautiful ceiling lights there too. Uh, yeah, there's the living area. I, I could, really wanted more color in the living area but I couldn't figure it out. Let me know if you come up with any good ideas. I'd uh, love to hear about them. Uh, there's a little study area with a computer, a uh, bookcase. That bookcase probably isn't usable. I don't know. But there's a bookcase in the bedroom anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. Oh, that's coming back, that catchphrase. Oh, no. But yeah, once again, download link is available below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.